What is up guys, the Looney here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the substats of the ship parts. So if you go to the ship parts menu um, and you click on a, subs uh, on a ship part, you will see that it has different substats. These substats are random when you, uh, when you obtain the item and I believe with legendary equipment, so the yellow um, equipment, uh, they start off with four substats and after enhancing them, you unlock a fifth substat. Correct me if I'm wrong about that though. Um, besides that, um, ideally what you want to do is, um, depending on which set this uh, equipment piece is on, you want to roll stats that would synergize with uh, the bonus they give. So for example, this is my flagship set. These are all Sovereign of the Sea sets. And as you can see, um, it's a bonus in armor and in HP. Now, this is, a, this is obviously a setup for a tanky or a more tanky ship. So what you ideally want to have on these items uh, in terms of substats is tanky stats. So if I would go to, for example, my figurehead, um, even though it's level 12, um, the main stat is armor. Um, I also have a substat for flat armor. I have HP. I have armor percentage and damage. Now, the damage is obviously not ideal. Uh, you would like another substat. And um, there are a few off the top of my head. I do not um, know which one else you could. You would ideally want. Um, but... Yes, you want a, at least a combination of defensive stats. So for me, this piece, I would say, is quite good. After enhancing it to level 15, um, I, I think every three levels, you get a upgrade in one of these substats. Um, and it went, for me, twice into armor and three times into HP. So this is quite a good stat besides the damage. Um, this... Uh, Yes, this piece here, um, my cannon, obviously, I have yet to see a lot of cannons with defensive substats. So this, I think, um, is a bit harder to find with defensive substats. But once you do, um, uh, you can start investing in it. I do not recommend investing in a equipment piece that has... For example, offensive substats for a defensive set or vice versa. So, for example, if I would go to my Fearless Princess, this is an offensive ship. On here, I want offensive stats, obviously. Um, but unfortunately for my figurehead, uh, there will, it was very hard to get a figurehead for Banquet of the Reaper, first of all. And um, it had a... Uh, armor percentage main stat. Now this is not too horrible as um, it makes my ship more defensive. Um, and on top of that, I have the hero Griffin. Um, and this hero also um, synergizes with armor stats. So in the end, I do benefit from this set, even though I would say this is not ideal. Um, with that being said, guys, um, what I would really suggest as well is look at the heroes you have. Um, let me quickly go to my heroes for you guys. Uh, for example, the strategic ship I was showing you guys, I use Griffin on there. And Griffin, if I go here, he, uh, the ship under Griffin's command increases the armor by 6% and decreases aggro by 24%. So in the end, um, it is not horrible to have uh, for example, armor on uh, specifically your strategy ship. Um, sometimes, you know, that piece that may uh, seem bad uh, does work. For example, like the one, this piece that I showed you. In the end, this armor did work for me. Um, so do not panic if you do not have the perfect set, guys. Um, it, I think we're all struggling to find the right pieces also it has become seemingly a lot harder so uh 
be mindful of your resources when you invest in an equipment piece. Um, obviously, you can always, when you enhance, you can still use a other piece and feed that into the, the, the next piece so you don't lose all resources. But I do think it comes with a slight penalty. So you might lose a bit of uh, experience. But with that said, guys, I hope this really helped you. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care. Bye-bye.